Hey guys, so um, I uploaded a video yesterday about, um, it was just a vlog about my decision to become a parent and then what my mommy experience has been so far. And at the end of that video, um, the part that kind of got cut out was the part where I had mentioned that, um, you know, after taking quite a bit of time to think about it, um, I may bring back the vlogs on kind of like, or like the follow us around videos on like a semi-regular basis. It won't be a regular basis. They never really were regular to start with. Um, they were just kind of sporadic on days when I felt like I had time to do a follow me around video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to give this a go again. I know that a lot of you really liked having the vlogs and um, hanging out with Stella and I, and I really loved having them for, you know, just for Stella to be able to watch in the future. And so I'm going to go ahead and give this another go, but I am disabling all ratings as well as all comments on any of the vlogs that I do. Um, I just don't... I'm not going to open myself up to any kind of feedback about the way that I choose to parent Stella because I do what works for me and everybody else does what works for them. So, um, you know, this is just to be able to continue to share Stella with you guys and then more importantly for me to have these videos for the future because I really do want Stella to be able to look back and see like those little glimpses of like our time together when she was little because she's not ever going to remember any of this stuff so um you know and I just I want her to see like what my life was like too you know um so that when she decides to become a parent she kind of knows like the ins and outs and that I'm not by that time giving her some sugar-coated version for the sake of getting the grandkids that I want <laughs> So I want Stella to make an informed decision and um, I don't think in any way like that our experiences together would deter her but you know it's not all sunshine and roses and kittens and unicorns and sparkly rain. It's, it's just not. So anyway we're going to do a follow us around today. Um, it's not a busy day today. I'm purposely having this be a slow day because um, I have... I have a wedding tomorrow, and tomorrow's Thursday. I know, who does a Thursday wedding? Um, and in the morning, I have to go pick up the flowers for the wedding that I'm doing flowers for on Saturday. It's an enormous order. Um, so I have to be at the market really early, um, come home, prep those flowers, then get ready to go to that wedding. Then all day Friday, I am just working on flowers for this wedding. And then on Saturday, I'm taking those flowers to that wedding. And I'm also doing makeup. I may have overextended myself. In fact, I know I did. But the good news is I don't have to do coordination. So, um, and again, this is not something that will be an issue next year because I am choosing to focus on one thing moving forward, and that is flowers, because I just love it the most. So, anyway, um, I'm getting ready to take Stella to Trader Joe's. Um, I'll record some footage on my iPhone while we're there, because um, she's pretty funny to watch when she's grocery shopping. She loves to help. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go get Stella ready and um, you'll see us next probably at Trader Joe's. So wish me luck. There's no car carts, no car carts, but she does have her own little kid cart. So that's fun. Anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoy and um, we'll see you throughout the day. So I bet you guys are wondering where the super cute footage of Stella shopping at Trader Joe's is. And um, there was none to be had. Do you know why? No, why? Because this one lost her marbles in the store. Like, just had a giant meltdown over I don't even know what. Like, zero reason. Zero explanation. Just was having a fit. <laughs> So I was not going to be that parent that was like recording their child having a fit in Trader Joe's. Um, it was pretty busy, pretty busy because it's like lunchtime right now. It's like noon. So of course everybody was there. But let's take a look at some of the things that I got during my stress shopping. 
Um, so I didn't get half of the things that I actually wanted to get because, well, I had to leave. <laughs> These are some chicken breasts that I'm going to boil and then cut up and eat on a salad. Here is some turkey for spaghetti tonight. Here's a couple of salads that I'm going to eat for lunch. I love these salads. So lunch for the next couple days. What are you, what are you doing? What, what are you, why are you sitting up there? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, various lettuces, lettuce eye, lettuce, eggs, uh, coffee creamer, some little, oh, you guys can't see anything because it's so dark. I'm not making mac and cheese right now. You're going to have to be patient. Don't yell at me. Uh, they, they call these teeny tiny yeah. potatoes. I think what I can do with these is put like some olive oil on them and bake them. Yeah. Do not yell at me. You will get your lunch. You're not starving. You need to learn to be patient. Uh, there's some gorgonzola. Got more of these because these are amazing. Here, let's give her some of these. Here. These are delicious. No, buy apple. Here. I didn't buy apple. No. Eat no. a bite of the apple. No, buy apple. It's really good. No, no, we got. Here, look, watch, watch. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. -hmm. No. I love it. I love it. Have a bite. It's a freaking freeze freeze dried apple. <laughs> Mom can't talk. Mmm. Do you love it? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, got some green tea. I need to drink more green tea. Um, this is my favorite spaghetti sauce. Um, it's actually a vodka sauce. It's high in vitamin C. <laughs> I just buy it because it's delicious, not because it's nutritious. Um, this is the pasta that I get. I've got some red peppers. Some mini heirloom tomatoes. A couple things of blueberries because they're our favorite. And um, some more of the dried flattened bananas for Stella because she loves them. And he's got some fiber. And then these are for my salads. I love to buy these for salads. Very crunchy, lightly sweetened. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna put my groceries away and I'm going to feed the child. Please don't feed the dog. If you don't, Stella, do not feed that dog. He is getting fat because of you. I'm sorry, what was that? Delicious. Mmm, they are delicious, aren't they? I'm Yeah. Okay, well, Mama will make you some mac and cheese now, okay? Yeah. You're welcome. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice hair. Very fluffy. I like it. I'm home. Okay. So we have some Annie's organic mac and cheese, and I add a ton of flaxseed meal or ground flax seeds. <laughs> I guess is a better way to put it to her food, so that Stella does not have tummy issues and uh, she cannot tell the difference. She still thinks it tastes cheesy, so she's happy. And yep, she's naked. I took her pretty dress off because um, there's not enough spray and wash in the world to get mac and cheese out so okay so now I'm going to finish unpacking my groceries and then I'm gonna eat my lunch <laughs> is that yummy Me. okay good I'm happy. okay 
so I just got done um, talking to my business partner about like our plans for the weddings and flowers and makeup that we have going on this weekend and Stella's been asleep for about uh, like a little over an hour I think and um, right after I put her down I got most of my dishes done I don't know if you guys saw that fantastic mound of like dishes that I had going on um, I still have to finish cleaning her bottle parts so we use the dr. Brown's like glass bottles for Stella um, and they just have all of these like little parts that you have to like disinfect and clean and they're fantastic because they're they're so much better in terms of like preventing like gas and like fussy tummies and stuff and um, for those of you who are um, saying that or thinking that Stella is too old for a bottle, um, she's definitely getting there. Um, Stella's going to be two and a half at the end of June. And I was definitely hoping that she would be done with bottles by this age, but she, um, she drinks out of a sippy cup. She totally um, is capable of doing that, and she does that during the day. She drinks her... Um, like her little like organic juice things and water mostly she drinks water out of like regular cups and sippy cups and she does really well with it but she only drinks her milk out of bottles um, she's just used to that and so she's not ready to give them up quite yet and that's not a battle that I'm willing to like fight her on right now um, if she's three and still drinking her milk out of a baba we'll have a fight then but um as of right now it's just an inconvenience to have to clean the bottle parts but if it makes her happy and if it um calms her down when she's upset then whatever she can have a baba um i'm making myself some of the green tea that i bought at trader joe's it's actually pretty good um this is my second cup of it and um so it's good I like it a lot um, I put some lemon juice into the first cup that I drank and then um, also two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar because green tea is kind of bitter to start with um, it kind of actually masks the taste of the apple cider vinegar so if you guys missed my video on that I'll link it down below but I kind of talked about like the benefits of it it's just it's really good for like my stomach so that's mostly why I take it. And then I just put like a little bit of honey in there. So I'm gonna get back to trying to like finish up my housework while Stella is sleeping. And then um, I will check back in with you guys when she wakes up. So um, probably, I think I have about another hour to try to get some stuff done as quietly as I can. <laughs> I really need to vacuum upstairs, but obviously I'm not gonna vacuum while she's like in the middle of our nap. I would rather have her finish her nap first. So, um, yeah, that's my game plan. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I am finally caught up on all of my, like, comments, replying to everybody. Um, it's hard, like, when you don't keep on top of your comments and respond, like, as soon as they're coming in because then they just, like, build up and then you're like, oh, my God, it just gets so overwhelming and I love responding to comments because that's like the interaction that I crave with you guys and um, here's the thing though so I don't know let me hi Erica <laughs> Erica and I actually went to college together she's gorgeous I love her and I love her daughter Lexi she is just as sassy as Stella is but some people who I've normally been able to reply to, like I'm here to dance, um, I can't reply. It doesn't, you see how it says like reply here? Oh, wow, I have a hangnail. Um, like I can't do that. And I know I've been able to reply to her before. So I don't, all I could do was like give a thumbs up. <laughs> so I don't know why that would be. Um, and then also, who else down here? Tabitha. Tabitha, I can't respond to you. So annoying. So I don't want people to think that I'm not like taking the time to respond because I really want to, but when I missed one here. 
Sarah, Sarah, I will reply just as soon as I'm done with this. Um, but yeah, it's really irritating. Is this like a Google Plus thing issue? I don't know. Annoying. Hi, Melody. So, um, yeah. Uh, you guys are all so great. Honestly, like, seriously, every single person that leaves me comments, like, hi, Dina. Um, I just adore you guys. These comments truly make my day. You are so encouraging. Nikki and Sandra here. Um, you guys are just fantastic. Lori, Lori cracks me up. This woman talks just as much as I do, and that's like damn near impossible to compete with. So she competes with me on that level, and I like her <laughs> for that reason alone. So anyway, um, hi, Adriana. Hi, Leslie. Skylar. Everybody. I wish I could just like say everybody's name and I could totally look can't reply here either so annoying what the what the f anyway is this happening to anybody else tell me are you awake what are you doing what are you doing hanging Oh, you're naked. How did that happen? Heights. Well, at least you didn't take your diaper off. That's a bonus. Are you wet? No, wet. I'm wet. You're wet? Treats. Did you just say treats? Treats. Ow. <laughs> I'll do that thing. Yeah, you had your shoes on, didn't you? You kill me. Stuff it, stuffing. Doc McStuffins, that's right. That's right. Well, go on. Stop it, <laughs> Did you get hot while you were sleeping? Is that why you took your top off? No top lip. No top lip? I wasn't actually talking about your top lip. I was talking about your top, like your shirt that you were wearing at one time. But I find it interesting that you put your shoes on. Mm -hmm. You fed baby the baba? Yeah, for baby. I ate it would you like to have a little snack? Maybe some blueberries? Oh, you want to feed your baby the baba? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I love how serious you are. No. Uh, Papa. You want to get out of there? Oh, step the baby. Oh, don't step on the baby. Goodness. Here. Let me see ya. Come here. Let me grab my grab my neck. Grab mama's neck meat. Okay. Uh, I'd like to know what happened to your shirt. What's that? You throw it over here in this pile? Oh. What the hell happened to your shirt? Are you looking for it? My sticker. You looking for your sticker? Sticker. <laughs> I don't understand. What could have happened to it? Did you do that? Oh, God, these pictures. I think I've showed you guys these before. These were her newborn pictures. Look how precious this tiny baby girl was. She was three days old. And I literally, every time I saw her, I was like, that's it. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> you Like, too sweet. Too sweet to not eat. Oh, I love this one. Look at how tiny. You used to be so tiny. Hey, who is this? 
Who is this? No, I'll go fix. Well, you're looking for something, but I'm not sure what. What's that? What are you looking for, babe? Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't we go put your uh, dress back no, on no. that you had on? TV, look it. Oh, yeah, that's your movie Frozen. Movie Frozen. What's your favorite song from Frozen? In summer. Are you going to sing it? She sings it. She sings the summer song that Kiki. Olaf Kiki. sings. And it kills me. <laughs> open it. Open it. Hey, can you sing In Summer? Hey. Kiki. <laughs> Kiki. Do you want to sing the summer song? You want to sing the summer song? Who sings Who sings summer? Is it Olaf? Olaf. Olaf the snowman. Yeah. The snowman. Who, who's Olaf? Olaf? Is he the snowman on there? Snowman. Snowman. The snowman. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know where, I think I know what you're talking about, and I don't know where that is. You tend to hide things nope, like a, in summer. In summer, that's right. That's where that song is. You hide things like a crazy hoarder lady, and then I can't find them. I think we need to vacuum your room. No, some no vacuum room. Why? Why can't I vacuum your room? Is it under there? Ow! Under. Okay. I feel really bad that she can't find what she's looking for, but I I think she's talking about like her baby Baba. In fact, I know that's what she's talking about. She's been obsessing about it for like two days. And we can't find it. It's like this pink Baba for her baby doll. And it really stresses her out, and I feel bad, but I don't know where she put it. Hey, there's your nice new purse. No, no, Baba. Okay, I can't. I shouldn't try to distract you. I don't know where it is, baby. It's not under your bed. It's not under your clothes. Mama needs to fold these clothes, huh? <laughs> I I just don't know, Stella. Okay. I, I don't know, kid. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, Baba right now. That's it's not going to help. Okay, well, I'm going to go back downstairs. And I'm going to have a snack. If you'd like a snack, you can come with me, okay? Yeah, I'm, I don't know where it is, Stella. I'm going to go downstairs. Oh my God. Somebody, I just, just take me out of my misery. <laughs> Put me to sleep. Okay, here's the baby. I don't know where the Baba is for the baby. And you took this Baba apart. Here, why don't I fix this Baba? Remember, Mama gave you this Baba to, to make up for the missing Baba. Here. No. Why not? It's the same idea. Hey. You don't hit your baby because you're upset. That's not very nice. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <gasps> no. Baby. You do not knock ah. things. No, Stella. Ah. Please don't yell at me. That's not okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I got it. Okay. I got it.
there. So I'm going to spare you guys the rest of this because this is going to go on for another uh, 35 minutes. So uh, thanks for joining us today. We hope that you guys have a great day. All right. I got to go. See you guys later. No.